The idea that immigrants come over here and they don't know anything and they're dragging us down because we all come from immigrants, including you, Tommy Lab. She talks about low skills. What exactly are her skills? Her second great grandmother had been here for 10 years yet spoke no English. Oh my gosh. 1930 census says Tommy's three times great grandmother had been here for 41 years and still spoke German. She didn't speak English either. She doesn't even know her own history. She certainly doesn't know this country's history. Fox News contributor Tommy Laren is here to respond to that. So, Tommy, what led to that bashing on The View? Well, there is a woman over the weekend who took it upon herself to research my family history in hopes of digging up some kind of a gotcha moment, a gotcha angle to validate illegal immigration and open borders. And what she found was really shocking, guys. She found that my family who came here in the 1800s from Norway and Germany, ah. that they spoke Norwegian and German. Okay. And really what she did is prove that my family came here legally but what she was hoping to do was try to call me a hypocrite for believing in merit-based immigration again she failed miserably but this really isn't what she calls resistance genealogy it's just another indication of trump derangement syndrome but my uh, i really am happy though that she has such a fascination with my family history and i'm hoping that she will take on elizabeth warren's next well wow. <laughs> that would be very interesting <laughs> tommy a couple of things they do not understand the conversations about illegal immigration and immigration. One, people, one group of people signs the guest book and says, I'd like to stay, here's my credentials, the other sneaks in. They might both be fine people, just as there's a way in and there's a wrong way in. And for them to go that deep in your background, you have gotten under their skin to a level I didn't think was possible. What is it about you that bothers them so much? Well, it's not just me. It's anybody who advocates for merit-based immigration or has an issue with open borders. And again, just like you said, <laughs> they don't seem to understand that we on the right believe in immigration. We understand that we are a nation of immigrants, and I am proud of my heritage. However, I do believe that the immigration crisis of today is apples to oranges from what it was in the 1800s when immigrants came to this country legally, were documented, worked for themselves, asked for nothing, and built a life and a family. Yeah. That has nothing to do with the illegal immigration crisis of today that we must deal with. But they right. don't want to acknowledge that whatsoever. Did, did you provide them with DNA, 23andMe? Because I cannot believe the detail on your background that they were able to, to get. Well, I don't have to. She did all the research for me, so what I'm sure about, my family about, is very what appreciative. What about Joy saying, though, what are your skills? It's, it's beyond research it is personal it is mean well of course this is classical joy behar but i would like to ask joy behar what her skills are because perhaps we could swap stories um, i know i watch joy and she seems like a highly skilled lady but for her to attack me uh that's really interesting those in glass houses should not throw stones meanwhile one of the thing uh, the new york times has this headline Breaking up immigrant families. This also has to do with immigration. A look at the latest border tactic. Uh, clearly, as we have heard from the Attorney General of the United States, Tommy, uh, the, this administration is actually going to be enforcing our immigration laws, where the last, uh, the, during the Obama years, not so much. Well, during the Obama years, it was a cattle call to come into this nation illegally. And furthermore, this is, again, the left's attempt at emotional blackmail. And I would just like to state, I don't know if they understand this or not, but if you don't want your family to be broken up when you cross the border illegally, here's an idea. Don't cross the border illegally. Then your family will surely stay together. I don't know why the left can't think of this, but they would rather try to tell us that we hate families, we want to break up families, we're horrible, we're despicable. No, we want to enforce federal immigration immigration law, which is why it exists in the first place. But again, the left cannot seem to understand this concept. Well, and the United States is trying to enforce our border regulations down south. Uh, over the last couple of years, it hasn't been so much. And then the, the news out of Israel yesterday was the fact that the Israelis were protecting their border and the uh, Palestinians understood that there could be trouble. But nonetheless, their leaders said, go ahead, uh, you know, breach the border, climb over the wall because the Israeli soldiers have run away. 
Well, as we've seen, Israel clearly doesn't play around, but every nation has the right to enforce their border. Every nation has a right to protect its citizens. I've said it before. You don't lock your door because you hate the people outside. You lock it because you believe in protecting the people inside. That is why we have a border. But the left would rather us have mm -hmm. open borders. Again, that's a threat to right. our safety and security. And right. we that believe in legal immigration and we that believe in border enforcement right. will never stand for that, ever. So, Tommy, on behalf of the, the people of Norway and mm -hmm. Germany, we thank you for your appearance this morning. Uh, together, you've put together, you've become a fine human being. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. Okay. Still waiting for Elizabeth Warren's genealogy, though. Maybe she'll work on that one next. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe it'll be a talking point today on The View. Thanks, Tommy.